Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States and welcome to downtown Washington, D.C. We are in Burke Park. Now, this is a little triangular piece of property right across from where we were the other day at Goffers, at Samuel Goffers Memorial. Um, this is at the intersection of Massachusetts Avenue, L Street, and 11th Street, and it's been turned into a park. And it is a park to Edmund Burke, who is standing here next to me. Now, this statue is uh, one of many here in Washington, D.C., of a foreign dignitary. In this case, uh, it's a little unique. Um, Burke was British, and he was a member of the British Parliament, the House of Commons, uh, actually, uh, in the latter half of the 18th century. Yeah, exactly. In 1776, during our Declaration of Independence and the ensuing Revolutionary War, Burke was a member of the British Parliament. So what the hell is he doing here? First, let me tell you, th uh, this bronze statue, I'm going to put the name of the artist down here on the screen. Um, usually he goes by his middle name and his last name, Harvard. But anyway, um, insignificant. This was a gift to the American people by Sir Charles Wakefield, the former Lord Governor of the City of London. And it was given to us in uh, 1922, I believe. And that's when it was dedicated here. Um, the thing about Burke, and you'll notice on Burke that the U has been replaced in several of these places with a V. And uh, that's typical on monuments and statues uh, because of the Latin. But it's Burke, I tr trust me. Um, Burke was, uh, I don't want to say he was a sympathizer to the colonists, because he, he really wasn't. He was loyal to his country. But he was sympathetic to the plight of the colonists. And I think a big part of the reason to that is Burke was not British born. Burke was born in Dublin, Ireland. He was an Irishman who had moved to England and become a member of the parliament. So given the troubles that historically had transpired between England and Ireland, I think that Burke was sensitive to the plight of the Americans. And uh, the quote here that apparently he's so well known for, magnanimity in politics is not seldom the truest wisdom, is not where I know him from. Where I know him from, I encountered this name, oh, about 42 years ago. Yeah, it was, it was 42 years ago, in 1976, when for, being in a production of the play based on 1776, which also, by the way, was made into a movie around that same time. This was at the celebration of our bicentennial. And one of the lines in that play and movie, which is not an accurate quote, but it's pretty good, was of Burke. And Burke said, and I'm going to try and get this right, a representative owes you his industry, not only his industry, but his judgment. And he betrays rather than serving you if he sacrifices it to your opinion. Well, I, I, I mean, I, I think that that says something about Burke, and I think that's why they used it in the play in the movie. Um, of course, Burke was voted out of office the following election. Uh, whether that was because of his sympathies for the colonies or not, eh, who knows? I'm not a historian. Uh, but he was. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so now we have this beautiful gift from the Lord Mayor of London sitting here. And we can't be, oh, I don't know, half a mile from the White House or the Capitol building. 
of Sir Edmund Burke of the British Parliament. That's about really all I have for you folks. I hope you enjoyed the short visit to Burke Park and the monument to Sir Edmund Burke. And if you've got questions or comments, leave them in the comments section down below. I love hearing from all of you. I'll try to get back to everybody I can. Hey, just stop in and say hi, whatever. I'm glad to hear from you. If you're new here, hey, click subscribe and come along for the adventure because we've got lots more to show you. And as always, well, thank you for watching.